100 megapixel, 16-bit medium format, 10 stops of in-body stabilization, LiDAR autofocus, and the first medium format camera with end-to-end -end true to life high dynamic range, this is the Hasselblad X2D2 100C. The aluminum body, the color science, the sensor, the minimalistic design, is just a small list of what makes up that Hasselblad magic. From opening the box, mounting the lens, holding the textured grip, and powering it on, this flagship body is a true luxurious experience. The feel of a Hasselblad always felt important and delicate, but the new X2D2 100C has an updated color, joystick, buttons, and OLED screen that pushes out to tilt up and down to stay clear of the viewfinder. In the previous version, you could only bring it out like this, which if you're trying to take a low angle shot, I can't really see really bright it makes it difficult now they updated the screen so I can kind of tilt it and pull it up so now I can have a top-down view and it stays clear of my viewfinder it doesn't interfere and in me being able to see the entire frame I personally love how the new camera body has the engraving but with no added paint like the version one it's just sleeker and the buttons are actually a little flatter and also no white on the buttons but I want to know, which do you prefer, white or no white? Now this is a book you can judge by its cover. The new X2D2 100C has some worthy under the hood updates. The first X2D 100C honestly did not have the best autofocus. It didn't lock onto subjects that well and sometimes I just found it easier to switch into manual shooting. And yes, being a Hasselblad shooter is being a slow and steady in the moment shooter. But better autofocus is something that photographers were asking and Hasselblad delivered in different ways. One of my favorite excuses to use when shooting videos like these is coming to viral coffee shops that I see on TikTok because I am that girl and we're gonna get a brown butter latte. Let's do it. Mm, yum. Sometimes you have to reserve your other hand for good coffee. So one of the biggest updates on this camera is the joystick. Right now, one hand, the other one's busy, and I'm trying to track these bees to land on the flowers, but obviously they're bees, they're quick, so I'm able to use the joystick with my thumb to reframe and refocus where I want focus to be and honestly without the joystick that wouldn't be very easy. I think that's my favorite feature of this entire camera is the joystick. The X2D2 100C now has 425 points of phase detection autofocus, previously 294. This is going to allow you to lock onto more areas of your 100 megapixel frame. This is going to help greatly when photographing portraits and moving subjects. And speaking of moving subjects, Hasselblad also added an AFC continuous autofocus mode with subject detection of humans, vehicles, and cats and dogs. <laughs> They're so cute. And Hasselblad also introduced LiDAR to enhance the face detection autofocus. So I don't think that there will be any more complaints when it comes to autofocus on this camera. One of my favorite parts about shooting with a 100 megapixel camera is how much you can crop in. While, yes, you should always try to frame up your photo to be as is how you see it, but sometimes some things are a little too far, maybe a little too high up. Right now, I'm downtown New York City across two avenues, which that's a lot, pointing towards a building that's very high up, and I just wanna see how much detail I can retain in my image and in how much I crop in. So let's see. I mentioned in my intro that this is the first medium format camera with end-to-end, -end, true to life, high dynamic range. So what does that mean? Hasselblad added HNCS HDR, which stands for Hasselblad Natural Color Solution with high dynamic range. So what makes this different? This is the first medium format camera that processes rich color tones with high dynamic range, all in camera to be displayed on your screen. It supports shooting and processing HDR, HEIF, and Ultra HDR JPEGs in camera, which can be reviewed on the camera's new 1400 nit OLED screen, which is 75% brighter than the previous version, 
or on HDR-capable computers, mobile devices, in focus, and Focus Mobile 2. The HDR recording is building on Hasselblad's already impressive HNCS color management and giving more detail and highlight control. Traditional HDR means the camera brightens the shadows but compresses the highlights to retain as much information as possible. But in turn, the result is a flatter image. But the fancy new HNCS HDR means it's winding the color gamut to P3, which in turn is richer, more vibrant HDR images right out of camera. One thing to note, HNCS HDR mode is not available when shooting fully manual. Hasselblad has increased the in-body stabilization from seven stops to 10 stops with five axis stabilization. This addition in IBIS allows for handheld slow shutter speed shooting, which is kind of a big deal when it comes to medium format. You can also choose sport mode to enhance that stabilization when tracking moving subjects. One thing I'm heavily testing is the new in-body stabilization. Previously seven stops, now 10 stops, which is pretty amazing for a medium format camera. And I'm having no trouble handheld shooting long exposures. I'm testing it out by doing some whip pans with cars and bikes zooming by, having the background nice and blurry, but that subject tack sharp. And then also just kind of waiting for subjects to walk by certain areas and getting that blurry New York nobody ever stops moving feeling, and I'm just kind of hand-holding and it's no problem. Hasselblad is heavily pushing the use of their Focus Mobile 2 app, and not just for transferring your images to your phone to post on Instagram, but actually to use your X2D2 100C to its fullest capacity, like adding extra stop of HDR from three to four stop, editing your raw HDR images, and remote camera control. And yes, of course, to transfer your images to your device, even when your camera is off. Now this camera is not called the X3D. It's called the X2D2 100C. And for a reason, there's a lot of the same features as the first version. It's the same three frames per second shooting, the same EVF, the same backlit CMOS sensor, and the one terabyte internal SSD with a maximum of 512 gigabyte type B card slot. But thankfully, the same user interface, which I personally think is one of my favorites of all camera systems. One thing about street photography, which I guess goes in line with a Hasselblad camera, is you need patience, time, slowing down. There's a really cute bookshop right across the street and I'm just trying to find the perfect moving subject, whether it's people, a bike, maybe a yellow cab, to kind of go right across, see what kind of story it tells. It doesn't end there. Hasselblad also released a new 35 to 100 E f 2.8 to 4 lens, a 28 to 76 millimeter full frame equivalent. This is a perfect lens for the versatile shooter who likes to shoot street, landscape, and portraits. This new leaf shutter lens supports a shutter speed of up to four thousandth of a second, so adding the 35 to 100 to the new camera body is the perfect combination for capturing fast moving subjects and shooting wide open portraits in harsh lighting. Hasselblad continues to cater to the intentional and detail oriented photographer. Walking around with this camera, I was thinking more about my settings, my lighting, my subjects, my framing, but never the camera's actual capabilities. It's no doubt you get an incredible result out of this camera from its top of the line glass to its beautiful color science. And now with the added autofocus enhancements, there's even less to think about now except the art. So I wanna know, do you think it's worth upgrading to the X2D2 100C? Let me know in the comments. I'm Maria and thanks for watching. Introducing the new Paybu credit card. You can save the tax or choose special financing for your purchases made on your Paybu credit card. It's easy. 